Hi everyone, I just wanted to show you the prints that I made. I have a little short video. This is the first time that I have used my gel press. And um, I started out, I was, <laughs> I was like, well, this isn't working exactly like I've seen on YouTube. Um, but I kept playing with it a little bit more when I started. I, this is a piece of lace that didn't come out at all. And even on here, I used too dark of a color for it to show up, so that didn't really work out. This is my first attempt with using like some doilies. None of this will get wasted. I'll use them in collage or making tags or something. Um, this was kind of cool. I used some some blue and some gold, and I used my um, bone folder to just draw some hearts. Um, to see what it looked like and it actually comes out almost looking three-dimensional that's kind of cool so that was fun and then this was just I put a little bit too much plate uh, too much paint on the plate and so I was sopping it up with this uh, and so I have a few I wanted some grunge around the edge so I did a little black and then I used that to take up some of that and um, did some pink on pink just to kind of look like some little roses but it didn't come out the way it did in my head I did these on uh, 40 pound paper um, I think this was the first print that I did with a uh, kind of a teal blue color and then I added some pink and and my daughter said this one is cotton candy so that's what I'll call that one cotton candy I like that background so then finally I got to where I had a few layers uh, that were built up and and so I started playing around and I got this one um, by letting the layers dry uh, in between adding the colors I started out with um, I think I used like a uh, a light pink and then I used a red and then I did kind of a buff color and got this print and there was a little bit left so I got this print after I added a little bit more and then this one so just you know a lot of texture and that's really what I wanted it for some grungy backgrounds this is uh, my favorite right here I really like this one and I got the texture with just crumpling up a piece of paper and kind of uh, daubing it on and then uh, got some really fun kind of uh, ghost prints. I added buff to what was left and got that print and then this was there was barely anything just kind of some texture on the corners and I got this one um, but I think this one's my favorite and you can see that balled up piece of paper texture in there I think that really turned out cool and I did use a little bit of of lace I used um, I played with the doily, um, I played with this piece of lace that has flowers on it, another doily, I used this piece of lace, this is that one that I did the stripe with that didn't really turn out very well, and uh, so I did use some of this for some texture here and there, and then the crumpled up piece of paper, I got the most bang for my buck there, um, but I really liked that one, and I added a little bit of brown, um, this one was the pink, and the red and I added a little brown in the background I think on this one and then buff for the background and then this is the ghost print from that and that I tried to get three prints before I added you know I would just add the background color but yeah so they turned out pretty cool um, I do really like this one as well lots of texture and movement and I did not clean my plate I left it for next time nice and grungy it has a few little things around but you know it's getting that grungy edge and that's what I'm looking for that's the main reason that I wanted to get it and play with it was to get some grungy background so I'm gonna try scanning these in and see what happens you can, this one I didn't rub down uh, or let it stay on there long enough and that's why it didn't pull up a lot but I really like this one and this one this one's really cool also the three of these was there one more in there that I really liked I was thinking there was yeah this one right here really like this one so a couple of couple of good ones that I've got 
that turned out nice. That's what I was looking for. And um, yeah, had a good play for a couple of hours and and had some fun. It, there is a learning curve, so um, you know you have to learn how much paint to put on there. And if you don't put enough, it'll peel off the paint. If you put too much, it just slides around. And and so you know you have to have a play with it. But um, yeah, that was a lot of fun. And I have some uh, marks on my plate from that came in shipping and whatever. There's a bubble on it and and whatever. But I it doesn't matter because I'm using it for grungy backgrounds and that just adds to it. So anyway, just thought I'd show you. Thanks for watching. See you next time.